The word currency refers to the aggregate of coins and paper notes, paper money. The currency in broad view is the tangible medium of exchange. Almost 180 currencies exist around the world, as per the United Nations. However, the British pound is the oldest currency in the world, which is still in use, dating back to the 8th century. The various types of money are Commodity money, fiat money, fiduciary money, commercial bank money, metallic money, paper money, reserve money. Number 1. Commodity money It is the easiest, most likely, and the oldest type of money. It builds on scarce natural resources that work as a source of exchange, storage value, and unit of account. Commodity money is closely related to, and originates from, a barter system, in which goods and services are directly interchanged for other goods or services. Commodity money is a way of simplifying the process, as it acts as a commonly accepted medium of exchange. The significant thing about commodity money is that its value is described by the actual value of the commodity itself. Few examples of money are gold coins, shells, spices, beads, etc. Number 2. Fiat Money Fiat money is a type of paper money. It is the money which has a face value more than its real value. The actual value of money is worthless. It is accepted by the people on the order of the government. The face value is decided by the government and the money is not exchanged into standard money. The fiat money is used as a medium of exchange and as a standard of value. It may be paper money or any kind of commodity. The real value of fiat money is not equal to its face value. This type of money is issued across the world. Number 3. Fiduciary Money It is known for its value on the confidence that it will be commonly considered as a mode of exchange. Like fiat money, the fiduciary money is not considered a legal tender by the government. In case asked by the bearer, the issuer of the fiduciary money guarantees to exchange it back for a commodity or fiat money. As long as the parties involved are confident that the assurance will not be broken, they may use the fiduciary money just like the regular fiat or commodity money. Examples of fiduciary money are banknotes, drafts, checks. Number 4. Commercial Bank Money It can be regarded as claims against the financial entities, which may be utilized to buy goods or services. The commercial bank money is created through so-called fractional reserve banking. Fractional reserve banking is when the commercial banks provide loans or advances worth greater than the value of the real currency they possess. Number 5. Metallic Money Pieces of metals like gold, silver, bronze, and copper came to be used as money in both ancient as well as current times. It can be classified as metallic money. The value of these in exchange of goods is equivalent to their actual or intrinsic value. Metallic money can be categorized into full-bodied coins and token coins. Number 6. Paper money. Paper money refers to the bank notes and government notes which are used as money. The distribution of the paper money started in order to replace the metallic money. In the modern days, Paper notes inherited the characteristics of token money, being commonly acceptable without reference to that of the metallic equivalent. Number 7. Representative Money All token coins and paper notes that can be readily converted into full-bodied coins or equivalent bullion, gold, silver, etc., at a fixed rate, are known as representative money. Such a kind of money was accepted in India in 1927 when rupee notes and coins were easily able to convert into gold. Number 8. Unlimited Legal Tender Money described by the central government to be legal tender to an unlimited extent is called unlimited legal tender. Under such a system, creditors are required to accept payments in this money to an unlimited extent. The rupee notes and coins are unlimited legal tender in India. Number 9. Limited Legal Tender In cases when coins and notes are legal tender only to a limited extent, they are known as limited legal tender. All the small coins in the country are legal tender to the extent of 1 rupee. Number 10. Optional Money 
All the instruments and notes like the bills of exchange, promissory notes, checks, etc. are often accepted in the discharge of liabilities and obligations despite the fact they are not legal tender. In collection, these instruments can be termed as optional money. The acceptability of this kind of money is based on the mutual consent of all the parties involved in the transaction. Number 11. Bank money. Bank deposits that can be withdrawn through checks are generally known as bank money. Most of the banks create deposits when they extend loans to individuals or firms. These deposits are also known as bank money. All the banknotes issued by the banks contribute to another part of the bank money. And finally number 12, credit money. Most of the loans extended by the banks to the individuals or businesses are usually held by them in the form of bank deposits. Such deposits can be withdrawn by using instruments like check, just like primary deposits made by depositors. It is called credit money, 